Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. So, if you can open the question paper on which you have prepared the test, okay, MCQ test on magnetic effect of current. So the first question uh, in the paper was who conducted the experiment of electromagnetic induction first? So I give you four options: Hans Christian Wirsted, Michael Faraday, Phyllis Lenz, and Joseph Henry. So the correct answer is actually Michael Faraday. I discussed in details uh, about the two experiment that he conducted, right? And I also showed you two experiment, uh, um, two videos on this, right? Hans Christian Wirsted with this you might get confused okay because he also uh, you know from his theory michael faraday got the idea okay of doing something this experiment uh, in the video we saw that right a beautiful animation if you remember then the second one which one of the following converts mechanical energy into electrical energy using electromagnetic induction so what we are doing mechanical energy to electrical energy we produce electrical energy or we can say we generate electrical energy that is generator whenever there is load shedding in bangladesh people use generator to produce the electricity okay so whenever we are producing electricity that is generator now sometimes it will happen that we will use the electrical energy to create mechanical energy right electrical energy we are giving it as input and we are getting the mechanical energy like we can say the fan okay to rotate the fan we need mechanical energy how we are getting it by you know supplying some electrical connection so that one is done by motor so motor what it does it uh, generates a mechanical energy using electrical energy okay you may remember it in this way also motor produces mechanical mm both starts with m so motor produces mechanical energy so if it is producing mechanical energy definitely it is using some other energy which is electrical energy Achha. so opposite okay motor and generator they are just opposite which one is correct for a step down transformer step down so if we are uh, stepping down that means we are decreasing our voltage right so in the primary coil if it is ep and in the secondary coil it is es we are stepping down so the previous one is supposed to be higher right so ep will be greater than es now we know that the similar relation is for number of turns right ep and np they both have the same type of relation but ip they have the opposite relation so ip will be smaller than is so if I know these three, then I can easily find out the correct answer. Here is the first option says ES greater than EP. ES, no, it is not greater than EP, it is less than Utigamo Bondo. IP is a smaller than IS. IP is a smaller than IS, right? We have it here, right? NP greater than NS. Here NP is greater, greater than NS. I guess this is also correct right this is also correct so oh what's a number d option it says b comma c so actually b option is this one c option is this one so both of them are correct so actually d number is correct answer did you understand this one yes, sir. okay if there is any confusion let me know please okay in the d option it is saying that b comma c that means both b and c are correct okay now what is called the rectangular coil of wire on soft sheet of iron on generator okay that is this one uh, in a rectangular okay rectangular shape armature remember this okay option slip ring a gold ring in Motokake to the daughter Monataka did a carbon brush at Matskani Amra is lifting take a place for it. One is a video to the Xila, the Tamaka can picture and I'm a little bit about the Sina. Okay, the Hotapa solenoid solenoid to Chukunta, data was a actor metal little charpash Amra coil to the wire to the coil in Kori, Tile at the solenoid Amra Vanakabari. Okay, stay in a step up transformer power. Okay. I mentioned this one while I was relating E and I. That means when I wrote EP, 
IP is equal to ES IS. Now, potential difference or voltage into current, this is actually power. If you multiply these two, you are getting actually power. So if I write it, that power in primary coil is equal to the power in secondary coil. So what does that tell you? If the power is equal, it neither increases, neither decreases, it remains unchanged. So the answer will be C, whether it is a step up transformer or a step down transformer. In any of the transformer, the power remains same. Always remember this one, okay? Very important. I step up in Antarctica, just like a distraction is Okay, step up for this is the power bar. No, don't get distracted. The power will remain unchanged. Okay, step up. It is for the voltage. The voltage goes up. Achha. Now, in a solenoid, if the direction of the flow of current is changed, okay, direction of flow of current is changed. Previously, uh, we connected one point with the positive point, another one negative. Now, I have changed. The positive one I have connected here, negative one connected here. So definitely the direction of the flow of current will change. So what changes, other changes that will occur? The poles are reversed, definitely. Previously, maybe this was the north pole, this was the south pole. As I change the direction of flow, north pole will come here, south pole will go there. Reverse, they will get reversed. True. The iron rod loses its magnetism. No. The direction of the magnetic field changes, but magnetic field is still there. As long as you continue to flow current, magnetism will not be gone. Magneti magnetism will be there. So it will not lose its magnetism if you change the direction. Okay, that the direction will change, but the magnetism it is there. So number C, uh, three numbers say that lines of magnetic force get reversed, right? Reverse manuulta hoje. Previously it was going in this direction, now it will be in this direction. If you remember, we can find out the um, uh, direction of the magnetic field created like this. If current is going in this direction, then your fingers will show you that how the current is going to be, uh, so the magnetic field direction is going to be produced. So in that way, if the current is going in this direction, then it will be in this direction. <coughs> so here one and three is the correct answer, that is C number option, okay? Now question number seven and eight based on the info, Okay, the number of turns in primary coil to secondary coil is 2 is to 3. Okay, so NP is 2. Uh, primary coil to secondary coil. That means NP is 2. NS equal to 2 is to 3. Okay, now from here, before I say anything else, as I already told you that the relation between uh, the N and E are same. Okay, so NP is to NS, if this, if it is this, then EP is to ES will also be the same. It is reversed in case of current, that is IP is to IS, it becomes 3 is to 2. Okay, it will be opposite. So here in the seven number question, I have asked ES is to EP, ES, ES, this one I have written first. So three will come first, and then I have given EP, then two will be here. So the answer will be actually three is to two. This is, uh, you know, a little bit tricky because as I told you, the relationship between NP is to NS and uh, the relationship between EP into ES is same. So you might say, okay, so NP is to NS, two is to three, definitely the relationship in case of E also, it will be two is to three, but you have to check which one I have written first. If you take a good look in the at the question, yes, I have taken first and then EP. So it will be three is to two. Do you understand why it will be three is to two? Yes, sir. Okay, then I have asked IP is to IS. IP is to IS. This is also will be three is to two. This is directly shown here. Number eight, magnetic field can be increased by decreasing the flow of current. Never. If you decrease the flow of current, then the magnetic field will also get weaker. Coiling the insulative wire. Oh, no. Coiling is good, but not insulative wire. If you put insulative wire, insulator is something that resists the flow of current, that does not let the current flow, the high, high resistance. Okay? So, if the resistance is high, if you use insulative wire, the resistance will be high current flow will be less. As a result, magnetic field will also be less. But our target is to increase the magnetic field. 
so in c i have written by using galvanometer if you know actually about this you know that this option is nothing actually by using galvanometer no uh, change actually occurs in the flow of current galvanometer it is just a device to show that whether there is any presence of current or not okay it doesn't actually affect the flow of current or the magnetic field that is created Four number option is by coiling the conductive wire. Yes, this is the correct answer. Conductive wire means insulating wire. It, the opposite to it is conductive wire. Okay, because through the conductor the electricity can flow very easily and the resistance is very less. Okay, so if we take a conductive wire and coil it, then it will increase the magnetic field created will be increased. One minute, please. Okay. okay so the next one is commutator is made of you know this is uh, actually you have to remember nothing to explain it is made up of copper okay uh, because copper is available and it is cheaper okay this, that is the reason then if np is to n is equal to 1 is to 3 okay again some ratio is given np is to ns is equal to 1 is to 3 1 is to 3 <coughs> Then what will happen? IP is equal to 30 ampere. IP equal to 30 ampere. I have been asked to find out IS. Okay. So I know that IS by IP equal to, I have to write relationship with NP and S, and I'm, I know that it is opposite, right? So IS is here. So here NS will be in the denominator. I is there, NP will be in the numerator. Opposite relation, right? So just put the value. Uh, NP by NS is equal to one is one by three. So here you have uh, IP is equal to thirty given, right? So IS is equal to one third of thirty. If you cross multiply, you will get answer of ten. So the answer is ten ampere. Is it correct? Yes, sir. Okay, then we have EPES with the same ratio. Oh, oh no, in the second question, I have actually reversed it. That is, it is not NP NS anymore, rather, it is NS is to NP. Okay, so be a little bit careful. Okay, here I have given EP equal to 30 volt. Okay, so. EP equal to 30 volt, I have to calculate ES. So as I have to calculate ES, ES by EP will be equal to, it is same same relation, right? So NS will be, NP will be here. If anybody is having a hard time understanding when I'm writing, you know, NS by NP and when I'm writing NP by NS, if you're not getting it, then you may ask me, okay? No problem, I will explain. NS by NP, it is one by three again and ep this is 30 so if i multiply 30 here ep cross multiplying then it will give me 10 volt again so the answer will be 10. the direction of applied force on a current carrying wire by a magnetic field can be determined Acha, many of you i don't know why but you forgot i took a very detailed class on this one huh? this is fleming's left hand rule how could you forget in case of the effect of magnet on a current carrying wire, we know that the current wire will feel a force, either it is in the upward direction or in the downward direction. Sir. Determined by the Fleming's left hand rule. Hey, Bolo? Sir, Fleming left hand rule motor is used, right? Niki generator. Fleming's left hand rule kotha use hai? motor. Hai. Because motor is motor. already. The current is flowing. Akon a tarta upore to the tarta get a magnetic field and mask and a rako, a tarta get a force field go away. The force tie actually a coil take a gura way, even a coil as a tamba the fan by kitchen to fix for the tile of fan to go away. So we are producing mechanical energy. So Bolo, keep up the sila. We actually apply the Fleming. So Fleming left hand rule holo apnar motor and Fleming right hand rule holo apnar generator right? Exactly. Ekane 13 13 motor niki generator. It's motor right? Kunta 13. 
13 ha the direction of applied force on a current carrying wear ei kotha to ekhane bujhte hobe the wear is already carrying current ki bolche bujhte parcho kon tar moddhe current already mane carry kore wear ta so it's motor right motor er moddhe motor ha eta motor acha good question eta ashole motor bujhachhe naki generator bujhachhe seta tomader kage bujhte hobe to generator er moddhe jeta hoy tomar magnet thake এরপরে আমরা ওই যে যে আরমেচারটা আছে না আরমেচারটাকে আমরা নিজেরা ঘুরাই উইথ সাম মেকানিক্যাল এনার্জি এন্ড দেন দ্য কারেন্ট ইজ প্রডিউসড তো কারেন্ট কোন দিকে ফ্লো হবে সেটার জন্য আমরা ফ্লেমিং এর леফট হ্যান্ড সরি রাইট হ্যান্ড রুল ইউজ করি জেনারেটরে ফ্লেমিং রাইট হ্যান্ড রুল এটা ইউজ করি জেনারেটরে টু গেট ইন হুইচ ডাইরেকশন দ্য কারেন্ট উইল ফ্লো বাট আমি এখানে জিজ্ঞেস করছি দ্য কারেন্ট ইজ অলরেডি ফ্লোইং ইন হুইচ ডাইরেকশন দ্য ফোর্স উইল বি ফেলট ইন অন দ্য ওয়্যার that one is uh, you know i'm referring to motor actually so it will be determined by fleming's left hand rule so whenever you are confused in this type of question ask yourself whether this is about motor or this is about generator if the answer is motor then fleming's left hand rule if it is about generator fleming's right hand rule is it right okay i hope the confusion is clear now is the confusion clear yes sir yes sir okay so the next question is uh, okay 14 number the direction of the magnetic field now i'm asking about direction of the magnetic field which i already discussed if the current is flowing in this direction the magnet will uh, the magnetic field created will be in this direction or i already told you that if this direction is flowing that this or the whole all all of the fingers direction will show you so this is actually a right hand screw rule why it is said right hand screw rule because sometimes let us say i have a hole i want to put a screw in it so some people get confused whether to rotate it clockwise or to rotate it anti clockwise kon dike ghuraile eta bhitorer dike jabe they get confused okay majhe majhe onek somoy bujhe na je current dike ghurachhe kina so seta bujhar jonno ki korte hobe you want the screw to go inside right so put your thumb towards in the inside and then see in which direction your fingers are pointing so if it is pointing in this direction rotate it this way it will go inside now if uh, now it is fixed okay now you want to take it out again open it okay then what will happen you put your thumb in the upper direction and then see in which direction your fingers are showing in which direction you have to rotate that is anti clockwise so you have to rotate this way it will come out ha bolo 13 fleming left hand rule right ha bujhe nai 13 13 fleming left hand rule right ha 13 hocche fleming's left hand yeah but okay then thik ache sorry ar 14 hocche ki right hand screw rule right hand it will show you je screw ke kon dike ghurai le screw ta kon dike jabe okay thumb will show you the direction of the motion of the screw and rotational motion and direction seta tomar ei finger gula diye bujhte parba okay onek shomoy je boyum khulte dile amader ke jemon mone kore ekta boyum er dakna khub tight kore atke geche khulte partechi na to ekhon ghuranor shomoy horot kore mone hoy ki ami ekhon je dikhe ghurachhilam edike ki kholar kotha na ke ami aro tight kore dilam to ei confusion gula dur hoye jabe jodi tumra right hand screw rule jano thik ache just put your thumb in the direction in which you want the uh, thing to come okay if if you want it to come up then put your thing, uh, thumb in the upper direction and it, the fingers will show you in which direction you have to rotate i hope it is clear okay so the next one we have the final one the device to convert electric energy to mechanical energy mechanical energy produce mechanical energy starts with m electric motor starts with m so motor okay okay and is there any doubt in the question no sir sir acha thik ache to tale inshallah uh, let me end my video here uh, and then